Hello everyone, my name is Chai. Welcome back to the next episode of my Minecraft Let's Play series. In our last episode, we made this lovely cow pen that you can see behind me, found this nice spot to settle, and found two villages that can be seen above my head here, and above my head right over there. So, without further ado, let's get started. I think the first thing I want to do this episode is make a few upgrades to the cow pen. While it does have a nice shed, it looks kind of boring. So let's just quickly hop in here, make a little pond for the cows to like drink water out of. If they need it. Cows don't really need water, but it would be a nice decoration. I'll just get some water from over in my farm. And then I should be able to just put water there. There we go, now the cows have a nice pond. Next I want to grab some of the hay bales from the village that I got, and then uh, put some flooring down. There we go. Already looks a bit better. I think I'll breed some of the cows while I still have them, and then I can get some more food. Once they're fully bred, of course. Oh, we have a seed in here. I'll place that with my farm, which is actually the next thing I wanted to focus on. This farm also doesn't look the prettiest, so we're going to clean that up and move it over into this area. First, I'm going to have to do a lot more digging, just over here to make like a nice little platform for the farms to go. So I'll do that now, and we'll come back when I'm finished. All right, here we have the foundation for our new farm. Next up, I want to get some wood and place it as kind of like supports around the edges and barriers. Let's see, do I have any other spruce wood in this chest? No, not really. But we are going to use some of the slabs that I accidentally crafted last episode, because I crafted way too many slabs last episode. Let's see, we'll just... Take that and we'll just remove these here and start placing logs like that. And oh, there's a hole there. I'll just fill that in with dirt there. And oh whoops. Oh, my shovel broke. I'll finish placing these four logs and then I will go craft a new shovel. Oh hey, one of our wheat grew. Two of the wheat grew. I'll just I won't replant it, seeing as I'm going to be making a different farm elsewhere. Breed the cows again, and let's keep digging. There we go. The first step of getting some nice looking farmland is done. Next, I'm going to shear all the wood. It makes it look much cleaner and fancier, I think. There we go. Next, I put the slabs from last episode, and I place them along all of the circles so that we don't have to see them. Now we can't get into any of our farms, so we need a place to walk up into them. Here, I can just use more of the slabs to create kind of like a staircase that goes around this way. And I'm out of the slabs, which is good, but now I need to go and craft more. Yeah, I have the wood for that. Oh my goodness, there's so many spruce saplings. This is great! I'm happy that we finally have a decent storage of them. There we go. A few more spruce uh, slabs. I'll just top down and continue the building. More there. I'll just make sure that looks nice and flat. There we go. Now we have a staircase up like that, and then we can also make one right here. All right, next we need to plot out the places where the water will go. Since water hydrates any plot with a within four blocks, all we need to do is count. So one, two, three, four. We can put this guy right down here. I grabbed some stone for this. I'll also grab some more water, seeing as we'll be needing it. And then I'll put some of the stone right there. Here's the hoe. We'll grab it and start plowing the land on that top layer. Alright, looks like we're going to need another water hole, so we'll place this one right 
there. Oh, nope, that was not good. Okay. On the bottom block. There we go. Then we continue plowing this. Now for the second uh, layer, it's going to be much easier because I've already built a spruce foundation. So I can just go and grab some more of the water and place it down. And that just about does it for all the main details. If I wanted this to look better, I could replace the blocks under here with blocks that actually fit with the background. So here I'd have to make some stone stairs. Um, and same with like these two blocks here. I can just fill those with some of the logs. And then for here I'd need more logs, so I'll do that in a moment. But first we need to get the stairs, because that's the more complicated bit. I think I'll craft a stone cutter. It requires one piece of iron, but they're super handy blocks, so I think it's worth it. I believe for the stone cutter, yep, it's just three stone and one iron. I will plop that down right next to the furnace and create craft two stone stairs. There we go. Then all we have to do is place them where the farms are. Now the water is not visible from the ground. Now we just have to do that with some spruce. I've decided to do slabs instead of stairs because that's more efficient and I should have done that before. So if you're using this as a tutorial in your survival world, use slabs instead of stairs because it's less resource costly. Alright, now we've made it look slightly nicer. All we've got to do is plant all the seeds. Unfortunately, I don't have quite enough in my inventory right now. I never seem to have quite enough seeds, but I will eventually. I'll just grab some of the ones from my farm by uprooting my entire farm. All right, now to place the crops. Okay, I have enough seeds to fill up this entire plot, but do I have enough seeds to fill up this plot? Not quite, I just need to punch grass until I get two more. Well, that's one. And two, please. One more. Thank you. And that's the second one. I think I'll make another plot here. I'll use some of the dirt. And that goes down pretty far. So I'll have to get some more wood. First, I'm going to kill some of my cows. I am incredibly hungry. I'll breed them first, or at least one of them. I'll go get some more wheat. A bit more wheat for a bit more cows, and then I can slaughter like two of them. And one more. Who wants to make babies? Please make babies. One of you, please. There we go. And I can just quickly take an axe to two of them. That's a shovel. One. Two. That's only two pieces of beef. Alright, looks like I'm going to need more wood for that last little spot, so I'll cut down the trees. There we go, that's the last of the trees. Oh! That's not a good noise. That's, that's in fact, a very bad noise. Oh. Well, this is a bit of an awkward situation, seeing as I can't eat and I won't regenerate my health. Are they chasing me yet? I think I have to engage in combat for them to chase me. We'll see what I can do with the rest of that iron. Oh, I can't swallow this waterfall. Then I'll fight. Oh, they're right there. They're right there, and now they're shooting at me. This is not an optimal situation. Um, if I just go this way, maybe I can get to my furnace? There's only two of them. I can take two pillagers with no sprint. Not great armor and an iron sword. Oh, that's food. If I just stay over here, I can craft myself a shield, which will be super helpful. Also, eat. 
They don't care that I'm just slightly out of their reach, do they? No, I'm sure it's fine. Let's see, can I make myself a chest plate? Not quite. I'll make some pants. Every good warrior needs pants. Go. Eat. There we go. I can take out two pillagers. This Ow. Hi. Fall. Fall, please. I've got to get- Oh gosh! No, don't step into the village. Okay. Oh wait, there's more. No, do not step into the village. Stepping into the village is a bad idea. I definitely cannot take on a raid. Alright, still chasing me. I have an arrow. There we go! I took out the pillager raid. That was eventful. Let's go get some milk before I accidentally wander into a village chunk. Hi, cows. I know I just killed two of you, but I kind of need to drink milk. Thank you. There we go. I'm safe now. I'm glad I crafted those pants. I do really need a place to run if things get bad. I'll make one of those eventually. Ah! There's the banner. I'll hang that up somewhere. Actually, I have plenty of leather. I can put it in an item frame. Nice. I could make a museum. That would actually be a pretty fun project for later. Let's see. How much leather do I have? I have six pieces of leather. I'll make one for my first pickaxe and one for the ominous banner. Let's see. Six sticks. This should be enough to make plenty of sticks. Definitely plenty. Where should I put these? I'll just temporarily plop them there. It's not like anyone's gonna... Like, judge me for just plopping them on the side of the dirt. I'm sure it's fine. Anyway, back... Back to the tree chopping. I still have a few more trees left to chop. And my axe is broken. You know what, I'll chop the rest of the trees with my hand. Doesn't deal any damage, it just takes a while. I have regrets. Now that I have more wood, I can get back to making that last layer. Let's see. Looks like this goes down fairly far, so I'll just make the support pillars go all the way down. Still didn't craft an axe. There we go. Now I just need to shear all of them with the axe that I don't have. Please hold. There we go. All the logs have been sheared. Now for the slabs. I don't have enough slabs. Oh, I have apples. I can eat apples. All I have to do now is finish putting on the slabs, make the staircase. Yeah, that'll do. It's not the prettiest, but it'll work. I'll put the water source right here. Slab. Another dirt block. And then I'll go grab my hoe. And then I will till the land. And I'll put some carrots and potatoes in that spot. Go, just quickly till all of this. Fill in those bits. Nope, oh, in between there. Yep. We'll make that one of the pillars as well. Five potatoes here, and just some carrots here. Not too bad. I don't really have enough carrots to fill in that area, but I have enough wheat to last me for a while, once it grows at least. So there we have it, just a small farm. Oh, I should probably trample all this farmland. I'm gonna trample all the farmland. Bounce, 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 bounce. All of the farmland is gone. Next, I wanna plot some space for my home. I think I'll just do that by placing down some spruce logs. Actually, I'll do oak. I'll start over here. So we'll have this here. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we'll have a seven square here. And that'll give me, what, one, one, two, three, four, five, five blocks of space inside. So I'll just have to count seven from here. There we go. Now I have the basic outline for a house. But this is just a square, and squares are boring. So we're going to add like an entryway sort of thing. And this will give me a little entryway into a fairly large space. Next, I have to decide what to make the walls out of. I think like some stone bricks would look nice. So I'll start smelting some stone. I don't have nearly enough bricks. That's okay. I could just get started here. Ooh, I'll get to use a double door, which will be fun. And there. That's all I can do for now, unfortunately. Here's the hole I dug out some stone from earlier, so I'll just keep mining here. It's probably not the safest place to mine, seeing as there's lava right down there, which goes pretty far down, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, I'm running out of coal. That's not good. There's a lot of coal in the hole, so I'll go to the hole to get the coal from the hole. Golden hole rhyme. I could probably make like a really long rhyme sequence out of that. Which coal out of the coal hole should I grab? There's plenty down there, up there, and over there, but that's really far down. Oh wait, I have a water bucket. I'll be fine. I can just... Yeah, that'll work. Is there any iron now that I'm closer to down here? I don't know, because I can't see anything. Oh, that goes down to Deep Slate. Whoa! This is a big hole. I mean, I knew it was a big hole. That's why I called it the hole. But it goes really far down. Alright, I am glad I kept that waterfall up there because my pickaxe is broken. And now I need to go and get another one. The second pickaxe. And I'm getting plenty of stone already. But I'm out of food. Again. Why does this keep happening? Could eat the fish, but I'm kind of already cooking stuff. I'll turn some of the hay into wheat into bread. Is there any iron down here? Iron would be really useful. Oh, that goes down. Yeah, we've discussed this. Any iron? There's a- Ooh, that scared me! Oh! What was that? Was that a creeper? I think I heard a creeper. The coal hole is an adventure for another day! No, I really need to stop doing that. Alright, there's no more coal in that vein, so I'm gonna grab the one here, which is going to be tricky because it's submerged in water. There's more to the coal hole than I wanted there to be. I just I just want the coal. I heard it would be nice if I accidentally stumble across it, but I'm not gonna go looking for it. I think that's all the coal from that part of the coal hole. What is back here? Can't see. Looks like there's more coal, which is pretty normal for the coal hole. Any easily accessible iron? Really sorry for the video quality here. Believe me, I can't see either, so I'll probably come back with torches later. Wait, I'm all the way down here? I'm all the way down here. Is there any iron down here? I'll keep this cobblestone and make the rest of these into some bricks. There should be enough to at least mark out the bottom floor of the house. I'd like for there to be two floors. Uh, base ground floor and then an upstairs and I'm out which makes sense I can probably use less of the stone bricks if I mix in some stone which will also make the build look better in general because it'll have more details here we have the wheat that grew so I'm going to go and take some of that wheat because I need the wheat to breed the cows I'll take the wheat and I will breed the cows, and then I will put the seeds in the chest for 
some only unknown use later down the line. Some of these leaves would look nice as like decoration on the sides of the house, so I'll probably grab some of them with the shears with the remaining iron I have left from that one giant ore vein near the village. Oh right, I used them to make my pants. So I don't have enough to make shears. Alright, it's adventure time, because I really want those shears. Let's see, I can make a few torches. That should be enough if I can just get some of the coal from the furnace. That's too much coal. 22, I'll deal with that later. Some torches. And we're ready to go and get one or more pieces of coal. I mean iron. Coal would also be nice, though. There's none that I can see on the surface caves, but those look much safer than the caves near the hole. So we're going to... Let's see, up there looks like it would provide a nice entrance. Definitely don't want to do any underwater caving quite yet. Don't have any of the enchantments that would help with that. Oh, and there's a drowned there! Don't forget the fun combat that that would involve. Underwater combat is not great because everything's always moving and everyone's always drowning, including the enemies, which means that if you're fighting an enemy that is a zombie and then the zombie gets wet too much, then the zombie will turn into an extra dead zombie and then the zombie will extra kill you. Are there any caves over here or was coming here all for nothing? Oh, that looks like a promising cave. There's some coal, there's some copper. I don't really need either of those things right now. Oh gosh, that spooked me. Rude. All right, I need to proceed with caution. Let's see, is there any iron up here? Doesn't appear. Oh, there's a there's a thing up here. Careful, I don't want any creepers dropping on my head. Oh, that's a creeper. Creepers are bad. All right, it sees me. That's not good. Okay, I can fight a creeper. Yeah, I'd consider that battle one. Creeper's dead. I'm not. Here a zombie. Careful. I see a zombie. Oh, that wasn't smart. <gasps> iron! Finally! It's near the village, too. It's so close to the other iron deposit, it was up there. And this one's down here. Just hop up here, grab the iron, and then leave. Or maybe I'll also grab that coal. Just have to get up there first. Looks like this iron is... Just a four vein, which isn't too bad. Grab these two blocks, and then I will go back to my base. Unless there's any just iron sitting around, like right here, with no mobs defending it. Please? 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 Oh, that's a creeper. I'm running. That is... Nope. 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 I'll go back to the base now. That's probably a smart idea. Right, I'll quickly just smelt some of that iron. We've got bones now, which is good. Put the coal in there. There we go. And that should get us enough to make the shears. And then all the leaves are gone. That's fine, I can just grow more trees later. I think I'm gonna just breed the cows while I wait for the spruce trees to grow again. I'll start smelting more of the cobblestone. Turn you into bricks, and then continue building the outside. Oh hey, the first potato grew. That's great. Just add some more along there, and the rest I can fill in with carrots and a few more potatoes. A lot of the crops actually finished growing. Glad this build is providing for itself. I think I'll build up these corners here for the pillars. They were good when marking them out, but now they need to be a bit taller. Let's see, I have a bit of oak wood. I might have to go and grab more from the forest. Yep, I need to go get more oak wood. I'll 
grab some of that now. Iron! Didn't expect to get iron over here while I was chopping down some trees, but pretty happy about that. C5, well, a bit more than five, six bits of iron. Six bits of iron. That's good. And the spruce trees still haven't grown yet. Basically just stalling while I wait for them to grow so I can get some of the leaves. Please grow faster. Got some more stone and some more logs. I think instead of turning these ones into bricks, I'm just going to sprinkle them in on the walls. Like, oh, no, that's the bricks. I just think that looks better than just a plain brick wall. Also allow me to get more stone bricks without having to craft more, because I'm just using the ones from the wall. I'll still have to mine the same amount of cobblestone out, though. There we go. The outside of the wall is now a wall. I have a first floor. It's pretty good. Let's see if any of those uh, trees have grown yet. One has! That's great! Let me just grab the stuff out of this chest. Where are the shears? There are the shears. And we can just shear this tree. Alright, so what we wanted the leaves for was to make some bushes on the side of the house. For detail. It's just like that. Nope, nope. Like that. I think it makes it look a lot nicer. Uh-oh. That's not good. Looks like this corner is going to have to have something a bit different. Put like a bench there of some sort. Would it fit nicely with the two blocks? Yeah, I think I'll do that. I'll also have to craft a few more fences. That looks pretty nice, I think. I'll just finish off placing all the signs, and then we'll have... Nope, that says A. Then we'll have a bottom floor. There it is! Doesn't have a entrance, but that's fine for now. Hi, it's Editing Chai. You might be wondering why I'm here talking to you, showing you footage from the clip that I took. That's because the audio broke, so I'm going to tell you what I did during this footage. The first thing I did was I decided that it would be cooler on the first floor of my building if I had some arches. I tested it out and learned that it would not look as good as I wanted it to look until I made it a bit taller. But that means I would have to make it taller, which requires a whole bunch of stone. So I gathered some stone from the stone hole and I started smelting it. While doing that, I did a handful of things. I went to the cow pen and I saw that there were a lot of cows in it, which is good, but that means it's really hard to get in and out. So I decided to craft a carpet so I can hop in and out of it much easier. Another thing I did when I was out getting some carpet is that I dyed a sheep blue. I don't know where that sheep is now, but if you see a blue sheep running around in the next bits of video that you see, that's... That's me. I did that. I chopped down some trees. Eventually the stone was smelted and I placed it. Um, I harvested some crops. Yeah, that's kind of all I did. That's gonna be it for this video. I'm really sorry about the audio issues I was having. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing so you can see this content more easily in the future.